Hi class, welcome to Advantage. I'm Matt Fisher and I'm your accounting instructor. Over these next several videos, we're gonna be going over the inventory costing method. And we're gonna start with the FIFO method, which stands for first in, first out. Then we'll go over LIFO, which stands for last in, first out. We'll go over the average method, or sometimes it's called the weighted average method. And finally, we'll look at specific identification. All right, so let's introduce you to this first before we get started with the actual FIFO method. I have an example here on the board where <clears throat> we're selling soccer balls, okay? So we're selling soccer balls and they sell for $20 each. We don't manufacture them, we buy them from somebody else and then we turn around and we sell these soccer balls. So BI stands for beginning inventory. You can see here in my spreadsheet that I've got purchases, I've got sales, and then I have what we've got in ending inventory. Okay, so those are my three columns. So in beginning inventory, I'm starting with five soccer balls that I paid $10 for. So I spent a total of $50, all right, five, $10 each. And then I went and I purchased more. Okay, you can see here that I purchased 10 more and the price had gone up. The price is now $11 per soccer ball. So you can see now I, I, I'm keeping track of them separately. So now I've got five at 10 and I have 10 at 11, all right? So I need to keep track of these costs, all right? So I've got a total of 15 soccer balls, all right? And now I'm selling seven and my sales price is $20. So if you'll recall from journal entries that we've done in the past, when we have a sale of a product, we need to debit accounts receivable, in this case, seven times 20 is $140, debit accounts receivable, credit sales. And then we always have a double journal entry here because we're selling some of the soccer balls. So we have to take the cost out of inventory and put it into this expense. And you'll recall that's cost of goods sold. So now the question is, we're selling seven. What is this journal entry? What dollar amount am I gonna put in here for cost of goods sold and then credit inventory? Well, let's take a look at my inventory. Okay, I hope you can see that here's the dilemma, all right? We sold seven, but they're not in here at the same cost. So which seven did we sell, all right? If you recall, I said, we're gonna go over four different methods. In this video, we're going over FIFO, first in, first out, all right? So that should key you, tell you exactly which which ones we sold, the first ones in or the first ones out. So that means that when I'm selling these, I'm selling, so now I'm gonna erase the sales part because actually in this, in, this, uh, in this spreadsheet, the sales are really the items that I'm selling, right? So I wanted to put that there originally just so you could see that we're, we're, this is how you calculate this part of the journal entry. But what this video is really about is the second part of this journal entry. All right, so now let me erase this journal entry so that we can now calculate that second part. All right, so we are selling seven, so that means that we sold five of the $10 ones, which gets me $50. And then we're selling two of the $11 ones. So that gets me $22. So then this is actually my cost of good sold. Let me erase this column now, put it in the, what we really wanted, the cost of goods sold column, all right? So my cost of goods sold associated with this is $72, all right? So if I were to do that journal entry, the debit accounts receivable credit sales, that would have been for $140. Debit cost of goods sold 72 and credit inventory for 72. All right. And now we need to go over here and figure out well, what is our ending inventory balance? Well, we got rid of all of these, so they're out of inventory, and we sold two of those. So we have eight left at $11 each. All right. Let's do a couple of more examples here. Let's say that we purchase uh, five more at $12. So now I've got eight at 11. 
And then my newest ones are five at $12. So that is now my inventory balance. And then let's say that we sold six at $20. Okay, so let's go through our, our inventory again. If we sold six using first in, first out, which six did we sell? The first one. So we sold six, whoops, six at $11, which would be 66 for my cost of goods sold. And so then my ending inventory is what? Well, if I sold six, then I've got two left at $11 and I have all five left at $12, okay? Now remember, <clears throat> let's just take a quick look at this journal entry. This journal entry when we sell those six would have been accounts receivable and we're selling six at $20, so that's 120. So we debit accounts receivable, credit sales revenue, 120. And then we would have debited cost of goods sold, credited inventory for the $66. Okay, so that would be our journal entry associated with this sale. I just wanted to point out one more time <clears throat> that this spreadsheet is dealing with the purchase, the cost of goods sold, and the inventory. We're not really calculating the sales, but we know the sales amount because we would know how much it sold for, all right? But this journal, this spreadsheet is dealing with the second half of the journal entry here. All right. In the next video, we're going to go over LIFO, which stands for last in, first out. You can probably do that on your own, but let's move to the next video and we'll go through this exact same example, but using the LIFO method. All right. Good luck, class. Thank you.